In this class, we are going to learn how to generate or create a PDF file by populating the content with the help of Oracle Visual Builder application. I have created this application that is generate PDF. Let me create a web app within this. I will name this as PDF. That's it. Or you can just name this as PDF app. So in order to generate a PDF file, we don't have any inbuilt component in Visual Builder. Even if you browse, you won't find any at the time of recording this class. I'm recording this class on 19th of January 2023. So what we need to do is we have to make use of a third party external JavaScript library for this use case. So I'm going to make use of this JS PDF. I'm going to make use of this min.js from the CDN. So you can click on this and download the jspdf.min.js even you can refer to this url as well so what i will do is i will download this so it is your choice to download and upload to vbcs or you have to refer directly the link so i will tell you the steps first of all what you have to do is you have to go to resources over here there is this js section you need to click on this create js file and you can manually create one and populate the details after you download other option is you can go to the source over here, expand the PDF, expand the resources. Here what you can do is right click over here and click on import. And here you can drag and drop the file whatever you have downloaded from this link. So this is applicable only if you download the JS file locally in your computer and upload. If you are referring to the URL, I will tell you after this step how you can refer the URL directly. Now what I will do is I will upload the file. Let me click on this. My file is over here. Let me select this and click on open and click on import. Let me first of all minimize this. Go to the code and I will delete all the boilerplate code what Oracle creates for us when we create a web app afresh. For this use case, I will first of all drop a button. Let me drag and drop the button over here. What I will do is on click of this button, I want to download a sample pdf file so click on this and go to events from here we have to create an event click on oj action i'm not going to name the events or the actions and the button i will go with the default as our main focus for this class is generating the pdf from visual builder i'm going to drop this call js function over here as we don't have any functions created in this application because we have created this afresh i'm going to create a new function that is generate PDF and click on create. I am creating this at page level scope. Now click on this go to arguments. So it has created a function for us over here. Now you have imported the JavaScript file over here. So you can refer to any JavaScript file that is with this method resources slash js slash js pdf dot min that's it. You don't have to provide the extension so it will refer on its own js pdf now the problem with this is it is visual builder is validating the content of this js and we are getting error in usual method you have to go with this approach only whenever you import any external library now i will delete this method from here now what you have to do is you have to go to this index.html here you have to make use of the script tag what you see over here similar like this and provide the reference for your javascript which is available over here in the resources js folder so i have already created a path for this let me copy this from here and paste it under the head let me paste it over here so in our case javascript is under the js folder which is under resources js so this is the script which we are importing now we can go to the main start I have already created one function specification. I will copy and paste it over here. So all those things you can get from the stack overflow or you can build on in your own if you have any specific use case. So our message is over here. So in detail explanation is provided for this JS PDF in the GitHub repository for the same. You can go to the JS PDF GitHub repository and go through the documentation. Now what it will do is I will show you by previewing this application. Let me click on this button. Now let me click on this button. It looks like something there is an issue in my code. It is not downloading on click of button. Let me go back to the code. Here if you see I have given the JS PDF. So we have to refer to the JS PDF definition as it is mentioned over here. So 
so they have mentioned it as js pdf in caps so this is case sensitive let me go back to my main start javascript and paste it over here done let me preview this app again once your application loads click on the button so in click of the button it is downloading a pdf file let me click on this on clicking of which it will open a pdf file with the content whatever we have passed so this is not an image this is a text whatever you have typed over here so using this js pdf external javascript library you can make use of this and you can build solutions for your customer like generating the invoice payment receipts and lot of other use cases you can build out of this js pdf now what if you want to override this details that is instead of hello world we want to pass it from the ui now this will be useful for you you might want to pass the array you might have a lot of information to pass on from the screen or the adp sdp variables and you have to generate the pdf in such case how you will do is you have to search for the text over here let me just drop input text somewhere the location or the placement of the input text is not the major concern over here so i'm just focusing on creating or building the pdf file in this demo so i will create a page variable with the name as argument 1 it is of type string so what it will do is on click of the button whatever user enters over here it will pass on to the pdf now go to the events go to this action chain now already this function is having one argument we have to pass that page argument to this argument 1 click on save so we need to go to the javascript here instead of hello world what i will do is i will refer argument 1 Now what we will do is we will preview this application in the browser. I will click on this preview button. I will provide some dummy name over here. This is my first PDF file in Visual Builder. Done. Click on the submit button. And it has downloaded the file. You can overwrite the naming of the file. Shortly, I will show how to do that. Click on this. Here, if you see whatever we have entered, it has typed over here. This is my first PDF file in VB. Now, if you want to change the naming for the file, you can do that in this line. That is doc.save. Here, you can, at the runtime, you can populate the invoice number or the receipt number and you can append customer's name or the supplier name and you can append with .pdf file. Suppose your requirement is not to download the file just you have to get the base 64 content or the binary content of the file then you can make use of something like this that is doc dot output of data uri string you will get lot of things from the documentation of js pdf whatever is your, your requirement is like if you want to format according to some template like you can place a image file you can place a horizontal line you can have a column table or view so those things you can design with the help of jspdf so more such things you can refer to the stack overflow quora or communities available for javascript so this is in basic how you can make use of jspdf external library in visual builder and generate your own pdf files